Hello everyone, today I will be showing you guys how to use the sign up form and all its settings. So first of all, in order to use the sign up form, you're going to need to have some plans that are enabled um, for the sign up. So for example, I have this test plan over here that has using sign up enabled and has zero initial credit to new users, which means that when someone registers with this plan, they're going to have zero credit. You can change this value to whatever you want. You can enable multiple plans as well. And also, you can do the same as an agent. So if you log in as an agent, create a plan and enable it, you're also going to have a sign up page for that agent. OK, so um, we're done with the plan so let's go over to configurations over here so let's go over to settings and search for sign up over here let me sh first of all show you guys this setting show sign up button on login page and as you guys can see for by default we don't have a sign up button but if we enable this we are going to have a sign up button which 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 redirects to the sign up page and also, as you guys can see, we have those two plans over here, which I've enabled before. And we also have the username field and the password field. Um, so if you go over to the generate password automatically in the signup form, um, the minimum value over here is the password length, which will be six. So if we set it to six or bigger, a password is going to be generated with that value, uh, with that amount of digits, and you're not going to have this password filled anymore. This is simply the link to the terms showing the sign up form over here. We can, you can simply change the value over here. And over here in the auto generate username is also the same as the pass gen password generation. You can simply set it to one and it's going to generate the username. Uh, following the settings in the system and here we have a notification that is sent to the admin email when a new user registers so the admin can be warned uh, when a new person register in this, the system also if we go over to emails over here we can go over to the sign up email and change all the parameters that uh, revolve around the sign up email here we have the email body, which you can change as much as you'd like. You need to change your IP or DNS or whatever. And then we also have all those variables in this tab, which you can use to compose your email. Uh, it's also good to remember that you need to have a, an SMTP server configured in order for, the, for these emails to be sent correctly. Now let's go over to the sign up page over here. And as you guys can see, we have these two plans enabled for the admin. But what if we want to register as, a, as an agent's uh, client? We simply need to add to the end of the URL uh, a question mark ID equals the agent's username. And we're going to go over to the agent's sign up page. And as you guys can see, we have no plans available for sign up for this agent. To fix this, it's pretty simple. Simply log in as the agent, go over to rates, plans, create a new plan, or enable a new one for the sign up page. So I hope this cleared uh, how to use it, the sign up page and all its settings. I hope you guys understood it all. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask in the Telegram group so all the community can help. And if you need paid support, please access our website. And we're going to help you guys with anything you need. And please like the video, subscribe to the channel to watch other videos. And see you guys next time.